Hey guys, how you doing? Hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to defeat the second boss in Valheim. Now, if you find this video really useful and helpful, please smash the like button, comment on the video, and if you really enjoyed the video, you can even subscribe if you want to. Let's get right into it. Now, what exactly are you going to need for this boss fight? Well, just like the first boss fight, if there's more than one of you, I'd recommend having a couple of you on melee weapons and a couple of you on bows, just so you don't get in each other's way when trying to attack the boss. If you're on your own, I'd recommend having just the bow, as you're going to be hiding behind pillars a lot of the time fighting this boss. You're then going to want some food. Now, I'm only going to be using mushrooms, cooked meat, and raspberries. You're then going to need an armor set. If you've been grinding bronze, I would get the bronze set, which would be the bronze chest, bronze leggings, bronze helmet. And there is a bronze cape, but I would recommend getting the deer hide cape. It only gives you one armor, but it's better than zero. You're then going to need some arrows. If you have some spare bronze, I would make some bronze head arrows. If not, wooden arrows or flint head arrows will be okay. If you have feathers and resin, I would make some fire arrows. These are really good against this boss. Well, how do you find the second boss, you say? Well, you're going to need to go into the Black Forest. Inside the Black Forest, there are little caves that you can go into. And just like the first boss, there'll be a stone inside one of the caves that will tell you where the second boss is. Now, this is the cave you're looking for. If you can't seem to find anything like this, I would recommend looking for skeletons. Skeletons will usually spawn near the cave entrance. So if you go towards the skeletons, they might lead you to where the cave is. Now, they don't spawn in every cave, but very fortunately, the very first cave I went into, I found it. You know what say? The Alder. Register location. And on the map, here he is. Sometimes he can spawn much further away than this, and sometimes he can spawn much closer. When you get to the location of the Alder, you'll be greeted with an ancient bowl. Once again, you have to offer an item to summon the boss. Reading the runestone, it will tell you to burn their young. What this means is that you need to get ancient seeds as a sacrifice. To get ancient seeds, you need to kill spawners. This is what a spawner will look like. What you need to do is take an axe and just chop it down. And there we go, we got one ancient seed. You will need three ancient seeds to summon the boss. Now that you've got your three ancient seeds, you're going to want to put them into your hotbar. And when you're ready to do the boss, you're going to want to burn them into the ancient bowl. Now, some people online may recommend putting campfires down to burn the enemy boss. But if your PC isn't very good, this can give you some major lag, as you can see. And also, like past experiences, the boss never actually walks into the campfires or even spawns on them, so they're completely useless. So for this video, I'm not going to be using any campfires. Pre-warning, you're going to need to stand near this pillar, or one of the pillars, to hide behind, as the boss does some major damage. Right, let's get started. So I think I'm going to stick to this, to this pillar, depending on where the boss spawns. He's spawning over there, so I'm going to stick to this pillar over here. I'm going to equip my fire arrows. This is the main ability that does the most damage. Standing behind the pillar will negate all of that damage. It's not like the first boss where you can't hide behind anything. Now with that ability he brings up these little these little roots to attack you, so you may want to move. They will go after time. You're probably going to want to activate your Ick Fear ability also, so you can run around a bit more. You do not want to get touched by that ability, it will kill you very quickly. Now, as you can see, the roots do disappear after time. This is a very long and tedious boss, but you will get it done after a while. Oh, that was very close. Very, very close there. Using the bronze head arrows does a lot more damage, but as you can tell, you're spending a lot of time hiding behind the pillar from the boss's attacks. Having the fire arrows allows you to do overtime damage while also hiding from the boss. That is why it's recommended to bring fire arrows. Oh, that was very close. One last one. There we go. Don't forget to loot the elder after you kill him. Like so. And that is how to kill the elder boss. Now, he drops the Alder Trophy, and then a Swamp Key. Now, with the Alder Trophy in your inventory, you're going to want to come back to the starting area, and come over to this Sacrificial Stone. You're going to want to press E on the Trophy Hook to attach the item, and then activate the power by pressing E.
What this power does is allow you to cut down trees faster. So what do you do now? Well, a hint is in the key. It's called the swamp key, meaning you now need to find a swamp. Once you've found the swamp, you're going to want to look around the swamp to find one of these crypts. If you have the key in the inventory, you can walk up to the crypt door and open it. The key is not a one-time use. You can use this key to open up as many crypts as you can find. Before going into the crypt, I would recommend having a sword, a shield, and a pickaxe. You'll need a pickaxe to get past the muddy scrap piles. You may also want to bring a bow with you, as sometimes the muddy scrap piles can block the enemy from getting to you and you can get free shots on them like this. Or you can run in and attack with a weapon. Well that is everything you need to know on how to defeat the Elder and what you need to do after you've defeated the Elder. I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful please smash the like button, comment down below and if you really enjoyed the video you can even subscribe if you want to. See you guys, have a good one.